Right, I'm back here, as you can see, at HMP Ramby. Now, as I said before, at this end at Nick here, is where block and everything is. Up there is where old school field was, where we could play football. And we used to go because uh, water bottles up of uh, alcohol. And here we are, we're surrounded with scrolls. Have you got out to say about drugs smuggled into Nick, love? Nothing for me to say, mate. What about having sex with inmates? No? Right. And as you can see, the screws all over around here. You alright, boss? You got out to say about drugs getting smuggled in? No? What about you, boss? Have you got out to say about drugs getting smuggled into this prison? Oh, we got some. Uh, no, but I'll buy some off you if you've got some, some spice. I were in here in 79. Yeah? So you got no to say then, boss? I have. That's a nice tattoo on your neck, mate. Is it Maori or something like that? I were in this dick 1979, me, mate. All the screws used to fetch us drugs in. Do you still take them in? Can you leave the area of the parking, please? Pardon? Can you leave the area of the parking, please? No, it's publicly accessible, mate. <laughs> Laugh all you like, mate. I've done this before. You know, last time I came here, they actually phoned police and told them they'd seen me throwing drugs over the fence. Load of lies. CCTV. You don't see CCTV showing them you were lying. And so did my video. There was a screw here called Mr. Copley. Because you've asked me nicely, I will leave this parking area because I've just noticed the barrier. So I'll go beyond the barrier, officer. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, as I've said, I'm back here because last time I came, the screws here, I spoke to, who I'm going to try and have an interaction with again. I've come at the same time, so... I'll be uh, here when visitors are coming in and that's when I was here last time. So I'm guessing them screws will still be on visitors centre. So, as I said before, I did serve in here and that officer rightly so pointed out that that is a no entry. So I'll just get it on for you. Yeah. Uh, you haven't got any drugs in your pocket, have you, boss? For inmates? And as I pointed out, all that before, all that what administration and visits were on bottom floor. Over in that far corner, the window you can see that's opened was well, Screw's tea room and the big window next to it. Then the two next smaller windows were where I actually made screw for, uh, tea foot screws. Uh, I had a secretary in offices which was about, I'd say roughly in the middle of that building where the double window is, where her, table, her desk. Uh, and workshops are sort of over that way. Uh, gatehouse and admin is exactly the same, but the flattened old army billets. It was pretty good, and screws still smuggle loads of drugs in. So uh, now it's changed. You what? No, I don't. You know last time, you know last time these police, the phone police had told them they'd seen me throw some at the fence. That's why I'm back here. And no, I don't have to put this away, it's publicly accessible. So you're dismissed. 
Excuse me. Excuse me, officers. Have you got out to say about why you lied last time I was here? No comment, mate. Doing an audit. Your officers actually told them they'd seen me throw some of the fence. Lied just to get police to attend. No comment, mate. No comment. No comment. What about drugs getting smuggled in? No comment. On a regular basis? No what about female staff having sex with inmates? You're wasting your time. Am I? You wasted police time last time I was here, ringing them up saying I was throwing things off at fence. Check out Arthur Taylor on YouTube, mate. This will be up amongst all the rest of them. Now, here is Visitor Centre as well. Excuse me, boss. Have you got out to say about drugs getting smuggled in? Can you remember Mr. Copley that were here in 1979? He was referred to as the dog. We got drugs smuggled in then as well. Police last time I were here lied. I mean, not police, screws. Lied to police. Pardon? You will at minute now, nah. and you, and you. Why, what's the problem? Because you're all screws, you're all bent, and they smuggle drugs in this place on a regular basis. Right? I know because I was here in 79. Right. I used to have a secretary changing money for me. Okay. Last time I was here, because this prison knows that this is publicly accessible, and there's no they can do, this place actually told them that they saw me throw something over the fence. Lied just to, just to get them to attend, wasting police's time. So they waste police time and smuggle drugs in. So I'm not wasting my time, mate. Supposed to be videoing around here, right? Yes, it's publicly accessible. I'm here to do documentaries on prison corruption. This one included. If that officer hadn't have lied and told the police I'd thrown something over the fence, I wouldn't have to come back here and confront him, would I? Because he'll be here on this visiting centre show soon. And if he's on, I'm collaring him, mate. Yeah? You see what I mean? Have you got out to say about drugs coming in, boss? Hey? No to say. Ashamed all lot of them. Lying to police. So I've had to come back here and do another one. Visitor centre. Look here. Look, all available parking. Here, look. Here, look. Keep your distance in. Where's that screw? Yeah, I came here and these screws blatantly lied and said that I'd thrown some over the fence. And I hadn't. I'm not that stupid. Here, look, this is a prison gate left open there. And as you can see, here we go, visitor centre. No doubt police will be called again. And here we are, Screws Estate. I'm not gonna go around there. Here you go, there you go, look. Warning, doggies. Live free, walked all the way around this. Dogs barking and everything. More bottles than I've got. But I know there's no around that side, so I'm not going around that way. I'm just gonna film this in all accessible places. Excuse me, boss, there's a gate up near. It's a prison.
Yeah, look at this gate open. Yeah, look at this. This gate is supposed to be shut. Here, as you can see, staff in here. Yeah, staff in here, look. Yes, yeah, so all staff. Screws hiding in here, didn't visit his centre. See if I can get him to come out and answer why. Yeah. In all excitement, I forgot to put my mask up. But See it's up now. Oh yes, and there we are. The main gate open. I used to walk through that gate every day. Every day. Yeah, respect to your boss. Yeah. Well. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. Excuse me, boss. One more question for you. We shouldn't be filming. Have you got anybody in there that can come outside? Here. You can't film in here. You can go. Right. On, you can go outside, but you can't come into the prison. Oh, oh so now you're saying I can Thank film you. outside. You can you can stay outside off of prison property. Right. You can't enter the gate. Seeing as you're a representative of prison. Right. Muppets, you're dismissed. You're dismissed. Let's go get an interaction off these screws up here. Yes. There's none of them want to talk about it. But I can describe this nick inside and out. As I've said, I used to have a screw ass and a secretary that used to fetch me money and smuggle it in for me because ice currency here at the time was 50 pence. My tea room was in line with that here. All that upstairs was administration. Downstairs, oops, was visits. Last chance, boss. Excuse me, did I did I talk to you like that, you muppet? No, I'm going nowhere. You're dismissed. Don't talk to me like that, you muppet. I'm not one of your convicts now. Shut up. Shut up. You're dismissed. You can shut up as well. Yeah. The drug, smuggle drugs in here on a regular basis. I'll gladly speak to these officers. I will gladly speak to these officers. Good day, officer. I will gladly speak to these officers because they understand the law. They're not like you people telling lies. If you hadn't told lies last time, I wouldn't be back. Right, right officer, on. yes mate. Right. Well, I'm glad tell, you've put a mask on. Me, we'll go over here right away, but if you can just stay back, is your camera on? My camera's on, mate. Right. Tell me what, what's your name, buddy? Name and name. What's your name, pal? Buddy, you're not telling me Listen, what to do. I'm asking you a question. What's your I'm name? asking you as a police officer I'm to you, identify yourself. I'm asking you to identify yourself. I've had a complaint I'm Arthur. that you're here. Arthur what? Arthur. Arthur what? What's your last name, Arthur? Taylor. Taylor. What's your Where officer? Your, where's your vehicle, Arthur? Well, I'm not what here to tell you that, am I? I'm not here to tell you that, am I? What vehicle are you coming, Arthur? I'm not here to tell you that. Okay, what are you doing here then, Arthur? All right, now. Let's not play, let's not play silly. I'm just, no, you're, we're I'm talking not playing nice, silly. We? We're talking nice. Right? Yes, right. right so so you know I've got a right to film in a public place, i.e. here. 
can, yes. You can film no. in a public place. Yes, okay? this is. Now what's this is deemed here? publicly yeah. accessible. Okay. We've got over that, officer. Well, let's yeah, get over yeah. that. Let's move beyond that. Right. Because after I've done what? this and I've spoke to you, I'm leaving. Right. Okay. Well, come right. On. Now let me just explain. Let me just explain. Partway, let, so me just explain. let me just explain why I'm back today. I came here a couple of weeks ago, and I did a video for my own personal use yeah. about this prison. Right. When I was here in '79, and what went off and what didn't. Okay. Right? Yeah. Drug smuggling by screws and female staff. Okay. Right now, I didn't move off this car park. Okay. I walked up and down here describing it as you've seen me doing. Right. From outside, yes. I then got approached by officers, naturally. I told them what I've told you, I'm filming in a public place and I'm legally to do that. Okay. I've done this on numerous prisons right. and police attend every time yeah. and end up going away by saying be respectful, stay in a public place and that's it okay. and they've left. Police didn't get a chance to come before I left last time. Where was, where was that? Here? Well, here yes, again. here at okay. this prison. So I left and they had my registration. Okay. So the police chased me. Well, they didn't chase me, they come after me. Yeah. Yeah. By the time I was nearly at uh, Doncaster, they then said that this prison had told them that they'd seen me throw something over the fence. Oh, okay. I then said, it's covered with CCTV and my video, and I never went anywhere near that fence. Okay. He said he accepted that but because he'd been told to attend and I'll be requesting a copy of that. What he are you said, requesting a copy of this for? Because it's for my own protection officer and I want your, your badge there. number. I want what your you badge number. For? What do you need protection for? We're still having a conversation. Let's because keep it reasonable. My decent, my dealings with Buddy, police. All right, then no, let me finish tail, mate. No, no, let me finish tail. No, no, let me finish tail so they stop me. So they stopped me at Doncaster. Right. I'll explain why. They stopped I'm me here. at Doncaster. I'm going to explain why I'm searched here. me and my vehicle Arthur. and said thank you very much right. and let me go. Arthur, now let me speak why I'm You're here. You're going to tell me to leave. I've been called, not because there's been a suspected throwover or anything like that, okay? But there's a male who they don't know who you are outside of prison recording it. Accepted. Now that could, that Accepted. could be for any reason. Accepted, yeah? officer. That could be for any reason. So it looks Accepted, officer. So I've turned But up. when I've explained myself, They've still phoned you. But they're gonna phone me because people it might surprise you, but not everyone in this everyone in this world tells <laughs> tells the correct tale, does it? <laughs> I'm just talking to this gentleman now. Uh, I'm 63, me mate. I've right. been in this game a long time. So what's what's your aim for me then? What's this video with Well this is to document this is this is to document my life. Right. As this is part of. Okay. Right? Yeah. So when were because, you with 79, is it? Yes. That? Right, okay. Have you been recording any other prisons? I've just told you in the beginning, right? All over the country, we've mate. We've had someone doing exactly the same as you within the last hour up at HMP Loudham. Now it's, see, it's that's why it's starting to be a bit simple. Like no, 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 listen, mate, now. listen. So have you got there someone a, up there doing that? Or? There is a lot of us about right, all so, over the place. So is that someone that you're aware of up at Loudham? that's been doing the same as you It's today. not for me to question or comment on what anybody else right. is doing. At the moment it's suspicious and we're trying to find out what's happening. Well, well I've explained what I'm doing, officer. Are here. we finished? Are we finished? Are you going Am I under recorded? arrest? Have you recorded everything you need to record from here? Yes. Right, okay. Then get on your way. Thank you. All Thank right. you for your being respectful with me, officer. All right. But You're one in, of the very, very few that ever has. Bear in mind... Can I just have your me, badge number? There I'm it is. On my shoulder. Bear what police mind, station are you out of? Redford, bear in Thank mind you. your recording... Right, you've just said I can go, officer. You're dismissed. Arthur.